This video is about Revere Beach history. So Revere Beach started 126 years ago. Revere Beach is the first public beach in the country, in the world. First public beach. So the beach started 1896. 1896, Rear Beach opened. Rear Beach is a mini Coney Island. The beach has many concession stands, restaurants, hotels, and amusements. Rear Beach had a first amusement park called Wonderland Amusement Park. Then throughout the years, Wonderland Amusement Park closed down like maybe like mid 1920s. On July 12th, 1896, Revere Beach opened. They have 45,000 people came on opening day at the beach. And a lot of people just want to swim and have fun. So the first amusement park opened on a Revere Beach was Wonderland Park. Wonderland Park was open only for six years. So the, after Wonderland Park closed down, 1935 they made the Wonderland Dog Track. So the Wonderland Dog Track is on the Wonderland Amusement Park plot of land. The Dog Track opened from 1935 to 2010. 2010, they closed down the dog track because the state got voted out of the dog track, so they can't do no more dog races. But the Wonderland dog track still there. But they supposed to do something with the building. But the Wonderland bar room is next to Wonderland Station. The Wonderland Blue Line Station, named after Wonderland now. So, so, so they still got the Wonderland dog track. They still got the Wonderland bar room from the amusement park. There's only two things that's still from the amusement park. So the first roller coaster they had at the beach was the, the Virginia wheel. It, it was like a little roller coaster wheel just uh, spinning around, we go zigzag. So that's like the 19, that's like 1901, 1902, and it ride closed down, like 1919, or like the early 20, 1920s, they closed it down. So 1907, Wonderland Museum Popcorn and the beach had a big fire. So uh, that was the end of Wonderland Amusement Park. That's why the park closed down because they had a big fire, destroyed their eyes. But Wonderland had a shoot the shoots where I go down, slide, get wet. It sounded like the Boston Tea Party at Camp Lake Park. But Wonderland Amusement Park. Got caught on fire, and that's what, uh, that was the end of that park. But they still got the train station named after the park, and they still got the Wonderland Dog Track. Not there anymore, but the building's still standing, and they still got the Wonderland uh, Dance Hall. 
So they and they still got concerts in there. So this is the early 1900s, 1910s. 1912, people with their Sunday best just hang out on the beach. So they had a volcano attraction, and it, it, and, and it was smoke and fire. People came to see it. This is the early 1900s. So, so this is the beach. 1920s. Rivera Beach had another second roller coaster called the Derby Racer. So, um, that's the second one of the roller coasters they made. So, Rivera Beach, after Wonderland Meeting Park burnt to the ground, so Rivera Beach became Mini Queen Island. So all these amusements and restaurants was owned by different owners. So the derby races was like owned by a different owner. The Rear Beach Slide Home was owned by a different owner. And they had a kitty land like two minutes down from from the other amusements. So they had like different amusement owners. So this is the third wooden coaster at the beach called the Light Inland. And the Light Inland uh, coaster is one of the wildest, crazy, rough rides in the world. They made three of these uh, coasters. Um, Rear Beach had one. The Crystal Beach Amusement Park in Canada had another one, and they had another one, I think, in California. But these three roller coasters, they all three got uh, tore down in the like 19, uh, 1930s because cause these roller coasters were too rough. They had a nurse station. At the at the um, end of the ride, so when the guests came off the coaster, they each had broken ribs. It's like cause this this ride was so so uh, crazy and wild. There's another view of this wild ride. So so that's the first drop you go twist it. And go back up, up around and twist again. It was like a zigzag coaster. So I was real rough. A lot of people came to see it, but a lot of people never rode it. Some people rode it, but they came off with broken ribs. Another view of this ride. This ride was real wild. This is the fresh drop. We go drop like this. Go woo. And that's why this roller coaster got tore down because this coaster was too uh, too crazy. See the tracks go zigzag. Another view of this ride. So the first drop, you go straight curve. Another view of this ride. So this is Wonderland Amusement Park entrance. So this is the, the 1920s, the bandstand band is still over there. You go to the beach, you still can see the bandstand. So, Rear Beach had roller skating, they had uh, arcades, they had like a main strip. 
of arcades, arcade uh, amusements, concession stands, hotels, roller coasters. They had Kidland. It's owned by different owners. Mini Queen Island. Rivera Beach had a nice wooden hand carved carousel. Once the music closed down, the carousel got auctioned off. So there's another view of the carousel. There's a picture of the Virginia Wheel. So this is the 1930s. This is the Derby Racer. The Racing Coaster. And they tore that down in like the mid 1950s. So, 1925, the rear beach slide cone opened at the beach. The, the rear beach slide cone ran from 1925 to 1978. 1978, they had an accident on a roller coaster. After the accident, they closed it down. And the roller coaster stand for five years without operating. So they finally tore down this roller coaster in 1983 or 84. They tore down this roller coaster. And right now, there's a big empty spot right now. It's just like, like, they just got like flowers on that land now. So this is a, another view of the slide cone. Rear beach slide cone. Again. This is 1930s. Some type of spinning ride at the, at the beach. So this is the rear beach slide cone. This is 1980. Um, the coast is just standing there. 1980. So this is 1970s. Maybe 1960s. It had like a Himalaya. Right. So as of today. The, the amusement's not at the beach anymore, but um, that, that, that red tower is still there, but there's like an empty plot of land right there, but the slide cone is like the 1970s. But at that time, a lot of people went to the beach and rode the slide cone and other amusements they had over there. This is 1965. Beach was packed. And the beach was, was rock and rolling. So this dark ride been here since 1931 into 1977. This dark ride was here. Uh, people used to go to the dark ride, and it was a slash fun house slash dark ride, and people was having fun for all them years in there. So there's another picture of the Derby Racer at the park. I mean the beach. It was racing a coaster, so. Go race with your friends. So this is 1970s. This is the arcade and all the concessions right here. You see the Ferris wheel in the background. So this is the concession stand. You can see the slide cone in the background. 1970s. 
1974. So, of Rivera Beach, had a little kitty park. It had Ferris wheel cars, bumper cars, tilt the wheel, round up. And up in that uh, kitty park, closed down 1981. The rear beach cyclone. This is nineteen seventy eight. There's a rear beach train station. We got old pictures of the park. And amusements at the train station on the blue line. Now this is 1980. They had like a nice fun roundup at the beach. They got the roast beef stand called Kelly's. It's famous on the beach. And been there for over over decades, I and mean, he may have been there over probably over over eighty years, but the stand's still there. You're at the beach, stop by Kelly's. It's one of the best roast beef sandwich you ever will have. And they sell seafood and other stuff. Make sure you stop by here. So, Berea Beach, name after Paul Berea. Oh, this is 1970s. Oh, this is 1972. Another picture of a sly cone. This is 1975. Rear Beach had double feathers available. There's a Wonderland Park. Another view of Wonderland Park. Another view of Wonderland Park. This is a fresh stock ride they had at the beach. So this is a shoot to shoot ride at uh, at the beach. It sounds like the Boston Tea Party at Camp Lake. But this is like early 1900s. So, Wonderland Park opened 1906 to 1910. 1910, that's when they had the fire. And then, the land just empty for 